Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Wednesday, June 2nd, 2021. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Hey, if you are on Facebook and you want a pair of tickets to Saturday's Maryland Chicken Wing Festival, go on our All Annapolis Facebook page and share that pinned post right to the top for a chance to win. That's all you need to do. If you want to leave a comment with your favorite wing flavor and where you get it, that's another chance for you. But I am picking the winners tonight at 6 p.m., so make sure you get on there before then if you want to go. Again, that's this Saturday, the Maryland Chicken Wing Festival. All right, it's hump day, so let's get into it. Two highway construction workers are in shock trauma, and one is fighting for his life. Yesterday at about 2.15 p.m., the Anne Arundel County Fire Department was dispatched to a pedestrian struck call in the 100 block of Mountain Road in Pasadena. When they arrived, they found two pedestrians had been struck and a third person, a passenger in a vehicle, with injuries. The two pedestrians, a man in his 40s and another in his 20s, both construction workers, were flown to shock trauma, one with life-threatening conditions. The passenger in the vehicle was transported to a local hospital with minor injuries. Now, police believe that the vehicle struck one of the pedestrians and, as they tried to correct their vehicle, ran into another car and struck the second pedestrian at that same time and injuring the passenger in the car. It's all still under investigation, and we will update this a bit later at ionanapolis.net when we know a little bit more. And following up on a story about that Anne Arundel cop that was arrested for the barroom brawl, all I can say is go to capitalgazette.com and read Lily Price's story on this cop. She dug through the Howard County records, and it is a doozy. As you read through it, you can practically hear this guy's career going down the drain. Governor Hogan says get back to work. With COVID seemingly under control and vaccination of more than 70% of the adults in Maryland, the governor has notified the feds that Maryland no longer wants to participate in any of the federal unemployment enhancements. That's the extra $300 per week. That's the unemployment for gig workers. And there's two other ones as well. So all of that will go away beginning with the week of July 4th. Also, they are reinstating the requirement in Maryland to qualify for unemployment that you need to actively be looking for work and provide proof of three activities each week in order to be eligible. The governor did say that if you are one of the 3% of the people that have filed claims and have not received your compensation, you will get all of your entitlements, but only up until that July 3rd date. And speaking of things getting back to normal, yesterday, County Executive Pittman said that all county staff will return to in-person employment on July 6th and all county buildings that are normally open to the public will reopen to the public on July 19th. He did say that they are also looking at a non-COVID telework program where employees can ask to telework, but that will require approvals and so forth. So another back to normal item that I guess we can check off the list. The Annapolis Shakespeare Company is kaput. Well, not really. They have rebranded to better illustrate what they do, and it is to present all types of classical performances, including Shakespeare. To that end, they are now known as Classic Theater of Maryland, and that's Theatre, T-H-E-A-T-R-E. It's the fancy way of spelling it. And they will offer cabarets, plays, musicals, along with Shakespeare. They also have come up with a secondary venue at the Gresham Estate in Edgewater. It's an outdoor one and a really beautiful setting and a great addition to their home stage at West Street and Admiral Drive in Annapolis. So congrats to the Classic Theater of Maryland and also to Liquefied Creative in Eastport. They did the logo and the brand redesign for them as part of that Annapolis Gives program we partnered with them together for back in the height of the pandemic. And finally, it is official. I teased it a few times, but the Monte Restaurant Development Group formally announced that Tuscan Prime Italian Chop House and Dolce Bar will be opening at the Annapolis Town Center this fall. It will occupy the space that used to be Paladar with plenty of outdoor dining, private event spaces, and a very cool new bar. I understand the dessert menu will be off the hook as well. Monte Restaurant Development Group is based right here in Annapolis and is the same company that brought you Cafe Mezzanote up in Severna Park, Carpaccio right there at Park Place, the Squisitos, and also Lima Chicken 
And if I'm not mistaken, there was one other one. I can't remember the name of it. So something for the foodies to look forward to here in Annapolis. All right, that wraps up the news for us today. As always, thank you for listening. And if you are somewhere where you can leave a rating or a review, please do. And make sure you let your friends, family, and colleagues know to follow us. A quick thank you to the sponsor for today's Daily News Brief, Solar Energy Services up in Millersville, and the Christy Neidhart team of Northrop Realty, a Long and Foster Company. And, of course, to the Maryland Wing Festival coming up to the fairgrounds this Saturday. Hang tight. We have George Young from DCMDVA Weather standing by with your locally forecast weather report. And since you never know when you might need an attorney, we have Scott McMullen here today from Scott McMullen Law with some periodic legal insight for you. All that's coming up, but right now, here's Rick Peters from Solar Energy Services. Are you interested in an exciting career in one of the hottest industries of the next decade? At Solar Energy Services, we're currently hiring solar installers, crew leaders, service techs, and sales representatives with immediate needs in all categories. Are you feeling uninspired in your current job and want more meaningful work where you can make a positive impact every day? Do you like the idea of being part of the team that installs solar panels on residential rooftops, commercial rooftops, or ground-mounted arrays for entire communities to use? Or maybe you're a good troubleshooter and communicator who likes solving interesting technical problems. Whatever your preference, the upside of working in the solar industry is tremendous. Contact us today about joining a great company with a rewarding culture and an inspiring mission. Call us at 410-923-6090 or visit us at solarsaves.net. Sunshine, sunshine, nothing else can make me feel so fine. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Wednesday, June 2nd. Yesterday worked out pretty well for the start of meteorological summer with mixed skies and temps in the 70s. And today should bring more of the same with more clouds than not for sky conditions as low pressure steadily approaches from the Midwest, which is why rain is now expected tomorrow, primarily in the p.m. hours, with a small but valid ongoing chance for additional showers and storms Friday and Saturday, with highs in the low to mid-80s each day before what should be a sunny and slightly hot Sunday with temps in the mid-80s to possibly even low 90s in spots. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of D.C. MDVA Weather. Make it a great day out there. Stay healthy and be safe, and be sure to get our free app on all of your devices by searching D.C. MDVA Weather in the Apple or Google App Stores. And also be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and use our website each day by visiting D.C mdvaweather.com so you can always stay weather informed another moving moment from christy neidhart of the christy neidhart team from northrop realty a long and foster company life is a series of moves from new beginnings to new opportunities to a new place to call home hi i'm christy neidhart and as your goals and dreams change my team and i will be there with you and for you making buying or selling a home an easy safe process Whether you are looking to relocate, downsize, or find the home of your dreams, you can trust the Christy Neidhart team with our years of expertise to find exactly what you are looking for. That's another moving minute from Christy Neidhart. To get in touch, call 410-295-6579 or visit kn-team.com. That's kn-team.com. You never know when you might need an attorney. It could be when the lights light up on the police car behind you. Or maybe you have a million-dollar idea and need to incorporate. From wills and trusts to car wrecks and arrests, Scott McMullen with the Annapolis-based Scott McMullen Law, LLC, is here to offer some insight for you with today's legal brief. What to do if your loved one is arrested in Anne Arundel County? This is Scott McMullen of Scott McMullen Law, and this is your legal brief. If you or a loved one is arrested in Annapolis or in the Jennifer Road Detention Center, the first thing that will likely be on your mind is securing or their release from the Jennifer Road Detention Center here in Annapolis or any place that they're detained, really. You should tell your loved one and, you know, good advice to yourself. 
talk to no one about your case without a lawyer present. You can certainly call us 24-7 if it's an emergency. Um, if you're arrested, we can certainly be available for the bail review hearing the next day and sometimes available for the commissioner's hearing that night. The commissioner and the judge are looking at two main factors in securing your release once arrested pre-trial. And those factors and those elements are, one, are you a significant flight risk? And two, are you a danger to society? And the first factor is significant flight risk. The, really, the court is asking is, will you show up at, to court if uh, on the date if you're released? And they want to make sure if you're released that they don't have to hound you down. They don't have to you know, later arrest you on an arrest warrant and spend all those resources. And they look at if you've had some failures to appear in the, in the past. And they also look at uh, your connection to community. Are you from uh, Anne Arundel County? Are you from Maryland? Or are you someone from out of the country that just came in for, uh, for a night and uh, could easily go away and you'd never be seen of, seen of again? Those are some things that the judges think about, reviewing your bail uh, to potentially let you out pre-trial. And the second element is, are you a danger to society? Will you harm society if you're released? And, you know, this is if, you know, whatever you did, are you going to potentially go after a victim or is it a harmless crime, a victimless crime, such as like a, a minor drug possession? And this is something that the judges weigh. And they also consider different things like potentially house arrest, different pretrial levels at the commissioner or in front of a judge. That just is sort of the supervision level of supervision you're going to get pretrial if and when you're released. It can go from personal recognizance, which means you're released on your personal recognizance and it's just that you're supposed to come back to your court date. And of course, if you miss your court date, then there would be an arrest warrant or bench warrant out for your arrest. From there, different levels you know, all the way to holding you with no bond uh, because maybe the charge in itself is say murder murder charges you're going to be held no bond type in a situation like that usually a lawyer can help you greatly in securing the arrestee's release or a low bond so the arrestee can post the amount and be released you can call an attorney and certainly you can call us at sky mcmullen law LLC 24 7. If it's an emergency, our lines are opened. And again, this is uh, sponsored by Scott McMullen Law LLC at 104 Cathedral Street here in Annapolis, 443 uh, 494 9775. This is information and it's not intended to as advice. You should contact an attorney regarding your individual situation. We invite you to contact Scott McMullen Law LLC. Please do not send confidential information until such time the attorney client relationship has been established. Thank you for listening to the Scott McMullen Law Legal Brief. All right, so COVID gave us an unexpected year off last year, but come June 5th, the 7th Annual Maryland Wing Festival is back at the Anne Arundel County Fairgrounds. Bring the whole family for a fantastic day filled with fun, games, shopping, music, and, oh yeah, plenty of wings. This year, the festival will be spread out throughout the grounds with more tables so you can enjoy two stages of live music, axe throwing, a game tent by Next Level Gaming, and an Odyssey escape room. Wings from more than a dozen vendors with dozens of flavors to try, plenty of cool beverages and craft beers because, hey, what goes better with wings than cool beverages and craft beers? Tickets are available now, so head on over to eventbrite.com and search for Maryland Wing Festival and get yours today. Now, we know that most COVID restrictions have been lifted, but we also know that that may change. And if that does, the festival will be adhering to all state and county health mandates. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, ionanapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at Ion Annapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.